Hey, what's up guys? This is Mind of Blade here, and today I'm going to show you how to find the secret chest in Skyrim. Uh, this secret chest is found in Whiterun, and you can access it at any time during the game. So, uh, wherever you are in the game, all you want to do is find Whiterun. I'll show you on the map here in a second. Um, it's just found uh, north of the city you start out in Whiterun right there. Um, and so you're going to want to go up and talk to the blacksmith and what the chest is, is it's actually the blacksmith's, uh, it's his inventory. So anything that he has that you, you're going to want to talk to him first, activate it. If you don't talk to him, there will be nothing in the chest. So you're going to want to talk to him, see what he has for sale. And, uh, you're going to be able to take all of his money that he has and everything else that he has for sale. And uh, many of you may or may not know this, but the people that um, buy and sell things to you, they their stuff regenerates, like they get more of their stuff every 48 hours, and so like if you uh, sell so much stuff to them that they've got zero, um, zero coins, you can wait 48 hours and then come back to them and then they'll have more money again. And so what you're going to want to do is... Um, First, I wanted to show you guys how it works. So I sold him a uh, warhammer. So you're gonna see that in a sec. God be praised. Right there, the warhammer. I sold him that orcish warhammer, and so uh, you can see it right there in his inventory. And we're gonna go down there and get it again after I sold it to him, and you can get it for free. Also, uh, the helmet and the shield look pretty cool, so I walk down there and I get the dwarven helmet and the shield and I also ended up getting the full armor set. He actually has lots of different armor sets that you can grab. Uh, he also has glass weapons too, but it varies because like I said, uh, it regenerates randomly different weapons every 48 hours. So now to get the chest, you're going to walk over and get a bowl or a plate. Uh, it, and I found it works better with the bowl. And so you're going to want to walk over to anywhere on this wall over here and you're going to want to equip Whirlwind Shout. You can just sprint to do it, but Whirlwind Shout works, uh, or Whirlwind Sprint Shout works much better. That I've, It's just easier. So what you're going to want to do is take your bowl or your plate, hold it up to the wall. It may take you a couple tries, and then you want to want to shout, and it'll push you through the wall. Now you're going to want to run over here around this rock, and uh, you can walk on this like it's glitched out that's why there's no, no ground there you can jump on top of it you're not gonna fall through the map and you can come right up here up on the rock then in between the rock and the wall to the right you are gonna wanna go down right there and once you're in there you're gonna wanna come over here again there's just an invisible uh, barrier that you can walk on top of you're not gonna fall through the map you're gonna walk over to the chest and you are going to dip down a little, so don't get scared. You're not going to fall through the map. You're going to dip down a little, and then you're going to want to open the chest, and that's his inventory. You can take everything for free, and you won't get... It's not... It doesn't count for stealing or anything like that. There's the Warhammer. I take my Warhammer back, and you can take anything else that he has, the, his money even. And uh, since his, uh, everything regenerates after 48 hours, you can actually... Uh, wait 48 hours and you'll have to talk to him again you can't sit there by the chest and wait 48 hours it doesn't work like that um, so you're gonna want to go up top wait 48 hours talk to him again and make sure that he's got all his money regenerated and then you can uh, go down there again and you can take the thousand coins that he has and you can keep doing this over and over and over again and it's pretty much unlimited cash which is pretty sweet it is kind of of a hassle um, waiting 48 hours and checking his inventory over and over again and going through the glitch and all that, but trust me, you'll get loads of money and just free stuff over time, and it's pretty awesome. Also, if you're wondering how to get out of the glitch, the easiest way is just to fast travel to White Run again. That's what I usually do, but uh, you can also get out of the glitch by just jumping up on some rocks nearby or just pretty much just hopping back into the map any way you can. You can... Uh, find like there's a rock uh, just south of the chest and you can hop up on that and then hop back into the map um, it's pretty easy it's not that hard to do and uh, yeah there's the stuff I took and then also here's me doing it again um, I waited 48 hours and then you gotta talk to him again see if there's anything you want before you go down there like I like that uh, bow that I saw and then also 
uh, there you got the arrows those are pretty valuable but the one thing I wanted the most was the uh, dwarven boots because that was the only thing I was missing so you come down here your bowl should still be there and you shout through there again just do the same exact thing find the chest and uh, there's the boots and that completed my armor set and then you know, of course you take his money and everything anything else you find in there and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video there's the full armor set of the dwarven armor i got you can also get tons of other armors in there i've seen orcish armor i've seen a ton of uh steel armor is usually always in there and uh lots of other really good weapons like glass weapons and stuff so i hope you guys like the video likes favorite and subscribe and uh yeah thank you guys for watching